Hey there fellow wet shavers, welcome to a family shave video. If you're not in for a family shave video, you can go ahead and tune out now. Otherwise, welcome to the family shave video. I'm Brian with the Wet Shave Experience, and, and this I'm is my experience Carly. today. This is Carly, she's shaving. Isaac, mm. he's shaving. Oh, that's not, nice. that's not nice. So we are shaving, show them what you're shaving with, or you're using for a brush. Paintbrush. We got one paintbrush. Carly, show them what you're using. She's using a paintbrush. I can do it. And then I can use, so this is a paintbrush challenge. So this is just kind of a fun video. I got these for 99 cents at the local store. Hello. That was supposed to be my brush. The bigger one, I don't know if they can see a bug. Um, I was, the big one's supposed to be for me and the two little ones are supposed to be for the kids, but my son wanted me to use the little one, so my daughter got the big one. So I got these ones for 99 cents. They whipped up. We are using, my son and I are using some Chella. Carly is using Chella mixed with her favorite 345 Shark no, Bite. No, no, it's Shark Bite. Yes, Shark, shark bite. bite. Just Shark Bite. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> I don't normally shave on the weekends on Saturdays, so this is an unusual video. I was tagged on this video by Mr. G Shave Gary, so thank you for the tag. Um, I will tag a couple people when I'm done, although I've seen quite a few people already doing this. So um, just a fun shave and heck, why not, right? So I was going to use some different soap, but um, Isaac, why did you want me to use the same brush and the same soap? Because why? Because we're best buds. Because we're best buds. There you go. Okay. Here, why don't we put this over here on this side? That, my chin really icky. Yeah, so they are using razors without blades, just uh, Dad, so you know, no children are harmed in the filming of this video. Yeah, this yeah. Is time my got blade. Okay, we'll pretend you got a blade in it. All right, so I'm gonna wet the face and get started. It's actually lathered up pretty easily. Uh, I was pretty surprised. <laughs> it's not that hot. All right, so <laughs> this really is a, a, it just goes to show you, you don't need to spend, you really truly do not need to spend hundreds of dollars on a brush to get a lather. Although yeah. it's not as luxurious. Yeah. Ooh, what does this smell like? So we, we, I did whip up a, a lather with this 99 cent brush. It's not very soft, it's other jelly goats. so actually it's, it's, it's actually a little bit softer than I was expecting, actually. Um, not going to say this is going to be my shave brush from now, off to, now on. Are you done, Carly? You done? Okay, close the door behind you. Dad, I'm going to come out and later. Okay, all right. And later, okay. Sure, okay. okay I'll see you soon. in the afternoon. Oh, in the afternoon? Okay, all right. All right, so we're okay. One. Okay. All right. At last. Okay. We'll see you soon then. Bye. Bye, bug. That's my little whoa. nickname for a little bug. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All right, Carly. Yeah, Carly. Okay. Okay. Close the door, sweetheart. Close the door for me, please. Then look in the mirror. I can see you, sweetheart. Three eyes. One. Mm-hmm. I mean, four eyes. All right. One, so I think we got one. I don't even, I forgot to put my three, contacts in, four, so I can't even see that well. Five, three, one, in two, the mirror. Three, four. I don't know what I was thinking not putting them on. Dad, I did. Dad, I did. Dad, I did. Hey, sweetheart. 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 I really need to do the video, okay? Four, so if you're going to go out, you can go out. I'll be right back, right, folks. We're back. I'm just trying to tune down some of the chaos <laughs> that was going on. I think I upset my daughter, but uh, sometimes that yeah. happens. You're going to shave your arms now? All right. All right. We'll get that out of the way. I'm just going to use for the razor my Mercure 34C. I've got a NASA blade in here on I don't know how many uses at this point. Um, I can open it up, I guess, and see. This is a two-piece razor. I don't know how many dots I have on this blade. I might not have actually hey, Dad, look at made my any arm. knots on there. Dad, look at my arm. Oh, you got, you got cream all over your arm. Hey, I was using that one. No, yours is this one, buddy. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. All right. Well, we'll just roll with it. Maybe we'll just do a two-pass shave today. Um, I might have to look in the camera here because I, I really can't see all that well. 
Um, I think this might be a fourth or even third or fourth use NASA blade. I started uh, using a Sharpie marker to put, I just put dots on the blade because I always take it apart and clean it between, um, or when I'm done shaving, or not clean it, but just dry it off uh, so the water's not sitting in there. It's probably not as big of a deal on a stainless steel, uh, although this is kind of an alloy, but uh, razor as it is with like, I started doing that with my carve because of the brass and the patina stuff. Um, because I wanted to kind of patina it more evenly rather than patina like in spots. So <clears throat> I started doing that with, with that. And so this is kind of a habit, <clears throat> sorry, a habit I started in um, just drying them, opening them up, drying them out. So I've just took a, taken a Sharpie marker. I don't know what other people use or what you guys, you folks use to, to keep track of how many uses, but when you have multiple razors and you're using ones, different ones at different times, it definitely gets hard to keep track of how many times you've used a blade. So I just take a Sharpie marker. Um, when I got when I got it out for drying, I'll dry it off. And then I just put a dot on the blade. And so for every dot, that's how many times I know I've used it. So that's kind of my system. I've seen people get racks, you know, uh, razor racks. And then there's the dice uh, that they use in that to kind of tell how many times they've used it. So the cella is working fine. I think I gotta use my phone camera here. The kids love the smell. It's got that marzipan, almond, cherry smell. And uh, I like it too. So I'm gonna pair it with some Moon Soap's uh, Amaretto Balm at the end. And I think I'm probably, this is going to be the last use on this blade Daddy, and I'll just toss it why is my razor long? The handle's just longer on that one, buddy. Some razors have longer handles than others. He's using a, a King C Gillette with no blade. So, we're ready for the weekend here. It's kind of a lazy Saturday morning, kind of taking advantage of a chance to do a video with the kids. Hey, Isaac was watching. <laughs> I see you, but you got some in your ear, dude. You got some in your ear. Let's get that out of your ear. Um, Isaac was watching. I was watching a couple of the, I can't remember whose video I was watching because I've watched quite a few of them, the paintbrush challenge. Um, Isaac was watching some of them with me and uh, he, uh, he really wanted to do it. So I thought, well, what better better way to do this video than it's a family shave video. So that's kind of what I decided to do. Like I said, I just got these cheap paint brushes. I saw yeah. Gary. Yeah, 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 yeah. I saw Gary use, I'm gonna, since my daughter's gone, maybe I'll give her a brush a try. But I saw Gary use a brush similar to this, although he had an angle on it and he used the, a slant razor. So he had a slant and an angle. So an angle on the, on the, on the, on the brush, on the paint brush, and then the slant. Um, some of that laser. And this thing is very loud in here. <clears throat> you want some of that? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I've seen, I saw uh, quite a few people. Give me that. Give me that. Please. Um, I saw Maddie and I saw Marion the Barbarian. I saw a couple of folks. And Marion actually um, messaged me that he got hit where he got his paintbrush. But they actually found round paintbrushes. And I had no idea that round paint brushes even existed. Uh, never seen one before, but um, they do. But I just went to my local store, they didn't have one. And uh, Marion said he got his on Amazon for pretty cheap, like $6.99 or something. But I had already bought these. So I decided I was just gonna go with this. This one was like $4 or something like that. I actually think I like the, the smaller one better. You know, the knot size on this is, is much bigger. But anyways, all right. So we'll just go in for a second pass here and we'll just go against the grain. Mercure 34C has never let me down. So this is just a fun shave. I really, I don't like a lot of some gourmand scents, but, um, but the cherry, Almond cherry marzipan type scent, I really do dig. Yeah. 
Watch yeah. this. What do you got, buddy? Well, you can put some water in there. Okay. The cello worked pretty well in there. I, I wasn't sure what I was going to use, soap eyes. But like I said, that got dictated to me by my son because he's, I was originally going to use a big brush. And then I, so I bought the two smaller brushes, like I said, for the kids and then the bigger brush for myself. And then um, Carly wasn't in here when we first started. And then Isaac said, use that one, dad, the, the smaller one. And, and then he used the cella. And I was going to use something else, and he wanted me to use a cello. You're done? We'll wash this out one more when we're at the very end, okay? Uh -huh. Oh, you want to wash the brush? Okay. So, and then he's like, like he said earlier, he said, you, we're going to use the same thing because we're best buds, Dad. And I could not. How could you not, like, you know, use the same thing at that point, right? I mean, how cute is that? So he's at a very cute, although sometimes very tough age, uh, four. And... I'm gonna try to get a little closer to the mirror here. Good that nose area. So, so I wear contacts, and I needed to see. I need them to see distance. I can see. I can read without my contacts in, which now is like a whole problem because now I've all I've worn contacts since my first year of college to see distance. So I'm nearsighted. Oh here you go, buddy. Let's try. Um, but it's just been like the last two or three years where my reading is going and it's so, so annoying because I'm trying to figure out like with my, I think I've talked about it before on, on one of my videos, but like, first of all, getting old sucks, right? I mean, just, okay, okay, that's enough, buddy. That's enough water. You're spraying me. Yeah. Um, but so now it's like, I've always needed them to see distance, but now like it's been, when I had my distance lenses in, it was getting harder and harder to see close. And I was trying to wear reading glasses. And then I went to the eye doctor and it was like, do you do reading glasses? I try, I've tried multifocal lenses right now. I'm down to like a multifocal lens in my left eye. It's a lower strength so I could see read better and a distance one in my right eye. And it's still not perfect. And so, I mean, I don't know. I don't think there's... There's much I can do at this point other than resign myself to the fact that I need reading glasses. Which, if I'm at work and I'm at my desk or at home, yeah. but the, the biggest pain is when I'm like out and about. Like if you're at a restaurant, there's low light. I mean, I don't really have like a like a purse or something that I care, can carry my glasses in. So it's kind of a pain to have to think about taking reading glasses wherever you go. So that's what I'm struggling with right now. It's not the worst problem in the world. I know there's a lot more Daddy, a lot of people out there with a lot more problems than that, but Dad, that's one of my this, challenges. Dad, when we drain this, does this water go, go in the sea? Yeah, ultimately, well, it goes to the water treatment plant. So they, And then they clean it, or it goes into the sewer system. And then at some point, the water treatment plant, I think, they try to clean it and we get, we get to reuse it. So, all right, so I was just gonna do two passes today. I usually don't shave on the weekends, so that's enough for me. Uh, I just wanted to get the paintbrush challenge in. So, thanks Bye. for tuning in. I had fun, hopefully you had a little bit of fun. Uh, I know the kids had- No, I just oh. watched Oh, that. sorry. Did you have fun, Isaac? Yeah. Yeah, you had fun? You liked it? Right, I'm gonna rinse my face off real quick. Daddy. What, buddy? Can I put more water in here? I think there's plenty of water in there. I think there's plenty of water in there, buddy. All right, so two pass, so I'm not BBS, no, but that's fine. No, look it. Hmm? You can put some more water in there. Oh, are you going to dump that out? Or you just want to put more in there? Okay, I think that's enough. All right, so I'm going to get uh, a little bit more. I'm gonna get the Moon Soaps Amaretto uh, out of here. If I can shake it up and get it out of here. These are, I think they have new um, uh, new pumps on the top of their things because in these older ones, it sprays out like, it literally hit my hand and it hit my window or my mirror. I think it's on, buddy. Yeah, it's on. Yeah, you did it yourself. So I'm gonna do this down here. It really comes out. You can kind of see it's all over my hand. Love that smell though. Do we spray 
this one I can't Smells remember. good, not too strong. It's kind of a low, low medium scent strength on the bomb. Uh, feels good. Yeah, you got something to put it on your face now. And then, um, and then spray. oh, and then spray. Okay, but uh, the one thing that I, only thing with moon soaps with the bombs, uh, I wish is that the scent lasted longer. That's my only. I don't know when to say complaint, but my only wish, I guess, is that the scent lasted longer throughout the day. But hey, uh, it's a great product nonetheless. All right, so who am I gonna tag? I've seen a lot of folks do this and a lot of people have probably been tagged. There's a lot of videos I haven't seen yet where somebody's probably been tagged, but Gary, thanks for tagging me, Mr. G Shave. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do so. I'll put the link in the um, description. Uh, I'm gonna challenge DK Damn Fine Shave. Um, you have been challenged. You're back from vacation. So, here you go. Try him off, buddy. You are back from vacation. So, like you said, you got some videos to catch up on. So, here's one to add to it. Uh, I am also going to ch um, challenge Brandon, Brandon Hay. So, if you haven't checked out his channel, check it out. So, I will link those channels. And the third one that I'm going to tag, if he hasn't been tagged, I don't know if these guys have been tagged. I know DK hasn't because we were talking, uh, texting back and forth this morning. Um, but, um, is Jeremy the Traveling Shaver. So, uh, if you guys haven't been tagged already, you're tagged and look forward to seeing your videos. Hope everyone has a good day and we'll see you soon on the channel.